Hello everyone, welcome back to Mabel's channel. Today we are reviewing the most common mistakes in lithium battery assembly. See how many of these you have made. Let's first watch a video of a battery short circuit. Next was a range without any insulation. Mistake 1. Failing to properly insulate during lithium battery assembly. For example, the metal handle of a screw driver, cut wire ends, or even your rings can accidentally short circuit the battery. During a short circuit, the current can be so high that it welds your tube to the battery and then sparks and lighting. Mistake 2. Deformed studs. Many people believe that screw should be tightened as tight as possible. However, this can cause the battery threads to strip or the terminals to deform. This can lead to poor contact, turning the battery into a miniature electric furnace when powered, continuously heating up and potentially igniting the entire battery. Mistake 3. Using without monitoring. After assembling the battery, simply use it without checking that the voltage of each cells are consistent. Balancing in a battery management system isn't a foolproof method. This set of 16 batteries is like 16 people lifting a heavy object. If one person slacks off, the others will over-discharge ultimately leading to permacter filling of the entire battery pack. Mistake 4. Missing batteries. Missing batteries of different brands or even different capacities. This difference can lead to significant confusion in the entire battery systems and are strictly prohibited. Mistake 5. Replacing sampling cables with ordinary wires. Those thin voltage monitoring sampling cables on the BMS are too thin, so you arbitrarily replace them with thinker ones. No, no, no. This will cause the BMS to more function. It won't know the true battery status. Battery status. Rendering its protection useless. Okay, how many of these pitfalls have you fallen into? Let me know in the comments. And so how can you avoid them? It's actually quite simple. Keep your work surface clean and your tubes insulated. Two, use a toggle wrench and tighten screws to the standard toggle. Three, regularly check the health of each battery using the Bluetooth BMS. Four, never mix batteries. Use only the same brand and model. Five, strictly follow the BMS manufacturer's instruction for install installations and avoid BMS modification. Safety is serious business. If you would like a more in-depth explanation of proper assembly, I have a detailed link in the description. If this video helped you, please share it with your DIY enthusiasts. Your sharing could potentially prevent an assembly accident. I'm Mabel. See you next time. Wishing you all a safe assembly experience.